did you end up did you end up then going with your chief in trade at to be his LPO? No. So uh, around that time, you, they they sent Johnny Kim over to assaults like just very temporarily because he was on his way to um, go to school. Mm-hmm. So he got picked up for this this program where the Navy picks like two people out of the entire Navy. Mm-hmm. And they sent him to go get their somehow, somehow Johnny Kim slid through the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So he's like explaining this this program to me, um, where basically you know the the Navy pays for you to go to med school afterwards, and it sounded like a good deal. And at the time, you know, I was feeling really guilty. I'm like, dude, I'm just been gone a lot, and I was like feeling like I wasn't like the best father mm-hmm. to my son, even though I, I tried to spend as much time with him as possible. I always had that guilt, and then. There's a part of me that's like, you know what, maybe I should get like a normal job and, and be there for my son. And so on a complete whim, like I put in my package for that exact same program. And I'm like, dude, if Johnny Kim is getting accepted to this thing, the chances of me getting accepted are like <laughs> slim to none. <laughs> and so I'm getting ready to go back to a team with with that chief to go be his LPO. And then I'm, I'm flying back from an assaults trip. And then he's like, hey, did you see the results? And I'm like, for what? Like I literally com- completely just... I applied and just forgot about it. I'm like, dude, you got picked up for that program. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. So I was like, well, I guess, I guess I'm going to school. <laughs> Freaking crazy. Go try to be a doctor. There was a time period, and it was this. This was the time period yeah. where I'm not kidding. Seals had a really good reputation in the world, you know, and it, certainly in the Navy. And I, man, guys were getting picked up left, right, and center for this kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean. That's freaking crazy and awesome. Yeah. So what's funny is, you know, like I said, they picked two people a year out of the entire Navy, and the other guy was a team guy too. <laughs> yeah, I, that's From my the East point. Coast. That's yeah. my point. Like, that's crazy, right? Yeah. But at that time, man, we, like, the SEALs were just doing a lot of good work. And, I mean, I'm sure that when they looked at your record, like, seriously, they looked at your record and compare that to the other applicants, I, I bet it wasn't even really that close. Just – because of the nature of what the SEALs were doing at the time. Yeah. So, but did you have any intention of like going to medical school for however long that is? So I thought I did. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So are you a year behind Johnny? Yeah. Okay. So yep. you're a year behind Johnny and Johnny went to USD. So I went to USD. So you went to USD. Just because I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm just going to do what Johnny did. <laughs> so, um, so for we had to go to like that that officer school mm. in, up in Rhode Island. Okay. So yep. in January of 2012, that's when I left Trade It, and we went to Rhode Island, and that's where you learn how to be an officer. Do you get commissioned up there? No, or you just no, go to you the don't, school. Yeah, you just go to the school. You don't get commissioned until you graduate from Got school. It. But that's actually where like you know they're like, oh, you gotta have blue camis. I'm like, I don't own any blue camis. Yeah. And what's funny about that? So. I didn't know. So they have the, the you know, the big blue jackets mm. and those things are expensive. They're like 350 bucks. And I'm already buying all these uniforms that I didn't have. Right. Because I don't have any blue stuff. And neither Because you're going to have to go to ROTC? Yeah. Is that what you're going to have to do? Yeah, afterwards. But you don't have to wear blue Oh, camis but you had there. to get those blue camis for the knife and fork school up in Rhode Island. Correct. Got it. So my the other team guy that's there with me, you know, we go there and he's, he's cheap too. So he's like, I don't want to buy this jacket. I was like, I don't want to buy it either. I was like, screw it. Let's not buy it. You know, I don't need no jacket. You know, even though it's Rhode Island yeah. in January. <laughs> so Suck we up. form up. Yeah, we form up and I'm in my blue camis and he's on blue camis and, and you know, the, the chief the chief who's like the, the RDC or whatever it's called, you know, he's like, oh, how come you guys don't have jackets? I was like, well, you know, we didn't want to buy them because we're literally going to have them here. We're never going to use them again. And they're really expensive. He's like, well, we're all uniformed around here. So they make everybody take their jackets off. And it's, it's freezing mm-hmm. cold. And then... um. He's like, we'll keep doing this until you guys buy jackets. And I told my buddy, don't you dare buy a jacket. <laughs> and he's like, okay, cool. And we were freezing cold, yeah. but we would just sit there and be like, we're not cold, but we were, we were dying. It's mm-hmm. not cold. And it got to the point where they're like, you know, people started crying in the class, like literally like, oh, we, you know, we're mm-hmm. freezing cold. So they're like, all right, change into your khakis. I was like, okay, I'll buy the jacket for the khakis. Mm-hmm. Probably, I might use that later on. Mm-hmm. So you get done with that and then you go to you go to USD, USD. Mm-hmm. University of San Diego. You're going to be doing the same, um, whatever, the same thing Johnny did. Yeah. Trying to get your pre-med knocked out. Yeah. How'd that go for you? Not well. 
<laughs> I'm not Johnny Kim. <laughs> um, I'm I'm miserable. You know, I'm I'm taking like 18 to 21 units a semester. Um, I really didn't enjoy the classes I was taking. It's like chemistry, biology, just stuff that was so boring to me. 